Welcome to my another After Effects tutorial. Today we'll be learning how to create a retro style uh, sort of 70s look text, the effect I was after for one of my latest projects. But let's better see what I mean by that. As you can see, the text wiggles nicely, has that bad gauge and sort of stop motion feel to it. As you can see, there are a few other effects involved as well. Uh, grain, jumpy, transition and color shift, but it's out of scope of this tutorial. So if you'd like me to show you how I made those, just write to me and I'll make a tutorial to cover that. We'll start from scratch. So let's create a new composition. Dimensions do not matter. And then we create some text. Mm, choice of font is obviously up to you, but let's make it fun and place it somewhere roughly in the middle. Let's switch on the title save for that and place it in the middle. Okay, it's okay. Okay, I know what you think. Big deal. Let's go to text animate and choose position, then choose selector and wiggle parameter and open the properties. And let's say it's change the random seed to two pixels in each axis. And voila! Let's see the effect and well, yes, as expected, it does wiggle, but in my opinion, it's not even remotely close to what we are after, as the each letter wiggles as a whole. Okay, let's try another approach. Unfortunately, it's a bit more time consuming, but the effect is really what we are after. To achieve it, we must place each letter on separate layer, so we duplicate each letter by holding Ctrl and D, and pressing D, and uh, change them so we still have the same text. Then we uh, have to position them, obviously, and the best way to achieve it is by holding shift um, when doing so, so it will constrain our movement in one axis, and they will line up perfectly. Then comes the magic. We take the puppet pin tool and place about, let's say, three pins on each uh, letter. Let's increase the number of triangles for smoothness, but not too much. And uh, do the same with other letters. Okay, let's double press letter U on our keyboard, which is the default shortcut to reveal our all animated parameters on the layer. Next, we'll add a simple expression to each pin by uh, clicking on stopwatch uh, sign while holding ALT on PC or OPTION key on Mac. The expression is wiggle, lower case, it's important as expressions are case sensitive and uh, then we put uh, brackets and two numbers separated with comma. The first number defines wiggle frequency per second, so how often this, uh, uh, this given layer will wiggle and the other parameter is how far it will wiggle in pixels. Let's see what we achieved. As you can see, the letter F wiggles nicely, but not uniformly as before. Okay, let's copy the expression and paste it in the other pins. But what if we wanted, let's say, to change the frequency of this parameter it would be simply a pain doing this for every single letter and every pin. So uh, for this reason, uh, let's create a new adjustment layer and name it a controller for clarity. Let's go to the effects panel and choose expression controller slider. Okay, let's name it frequency and let's duplicate it by pressing Ctrl plus D on PC or Command D on Mac. And let's rename the other one, for example, distance. And now let's delete our Lego from the two remaining pins. And delete the first parameter in the remaining wiggle expression we have over there. Then we pick with it to the slider control frequency and now let's delete the second parameter 
and pick with it to the distance slider. Let's play it and see what happens. As expected, nothing happens and it's obvious since our slider controller and therefore our expression has no assigned value. Ok, let's crank up those values to as we had it before, so uh, 24 frequency and distance to 2 and see what happens. Or maybe even more actually. As you can see, uh, we can easily play with those two values and uh, change them until uh, we arrive at something that we are happy with. Ok, that's fun. All we have to do now is just copy and paste our expressions to our pins and we are done. Ok, let's see what we achieved. As you can see, the text has the same look as in the reference footage as I showed you at the very beginning of our tutorial. Thank you very much. I hope that you found this uh, tutorial useful and you'll be able to use this technique in your own projects. Please stay tuned for more tutorials to come soon.